There's a lot of people on this planet who want to buy your eBay items, but what actually sells on eBay? Well, let's find out. Let's do some random research. Right then, guys. So uh, what I've done is just typed in Doctor Who figures. I thought I'd start on something that um, I'm really interested in. I love Doctor Who, obviously. So I'll start on what I'm interested in, and then obviously we'll go down the rabbit hole as we did last time, and we'll look at a few other things. So, yeah. Without further ado, I'll just sort of go down the list, pick out a few different things. Uh, we've got an Ood figure here. The Ood were first seen, I believe, in the Satan Pit or um, the Impossible Planet in Series 2, which is probably one of the weaker series of the modern series of Doctor Who, the, uh, New Who. Um, really like the Ood. I think they're so cool uh, as a monster. I remember being absolutely terrified of them as a kid. Um, but as you can see, this is brand new in the box, um, brand new in the box figure. Um, obviously, it's kind of new old stock. And uh, this one went for a tenner. You'll see a lot of these uh, figures with this sort of old style branding, um, which get around this, this sort of price, you know, £10 plus post, maybe £15 plus post for a lot of these figures in this sort of branding, especially if it's a fairly generic figure. Obviously, more sought after figures, brand new in the, uh, in the packaging, will go for uh, good money. I know the Cult of Scaro, a set of, um, I think it's like three or four um, bronze Daleks and Dalek Sec, which is a uh, black Dalek. That set, brand new, goes for about 50 quid. So obviously, there is ones that are, uh, you know, more sought after. But those figures are certainly worth looking out for. I mean, if you can grab them for a couple of quid each at a car boot, then you're laughing, really, especially brand new in the box. Now, if you're talking used with those sort of figures, that, that line of figures, really you want to be paying about 50p each, really. I, I wouldn't be paying more than that, but I mean used, generally what I do is I group them up. I try and do little little groups with them and usually sell four figures, four or five figures for about that sort of 12 to £15 pound mark. So you get a bit of money for them, but obviously uh used you know you need to be paying about 50p so you know 20p 50p that sort of range but certainly brand new if you go for some good well a little bit of money at least um so yeah that's that figure um we've got uh, captain jack there 12.99 which is pretty cool i don't know which line of figures that's from does it say there it doesn't say character options or anything but 12.99 for the uh, captain jack figure there i know some of the kind of figures of him don't go for that much individually though so it's always worth uh, obviously looking to see which of the variants of the figures go for good money and which don't uh, i think that's just a generic martha jones figure i don't think there's anything actually special about that so mm, i don't know might be something special about it but uh action figure loose in good condition i don't no, I don't know, that just seems like a generic Martha Jones figure, and we got six quid just for that one, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think, oh yeah, there we go, we've got another Doctor Who, this is a 12-inch figure here, uh, David Tennant, 10th Doctor, obviously, 13 quid, brand new and sealed, so yeah, pretty cool. They've put extremely rare there, I mean, I, why you put extremely rare, it's not really that rare, is it? Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, we've got a TARDIS there that's gone cheap. I mean, these TARDISes you can get much more than seven quid for. Um, I think with a couple of figures and then the actual TARDIS, especially if it's a uh, lights and sounds one, you know, from maybe the 10th Doctor era, um, you can get, I think you can get upwards of about 20 quid for them, something like that. But, um, and I think it was uh, Sean, Sean Longley, who got like 30 quid for one with a couple of figures one time, which is a crazy, crazy price. But yeah, I mean, these TARDISes, even just stand alone on their own, you can get about 15 quid for. So obviously that one's gone a bit cheap on uh, on bids. And the put a the... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, this is... Oh, I've got to pick apart this listing. They've put an 11th Doctor figure. Oh, right, I get it. I know, I get it. Okay, that's fair enough. I was just going to say we're putting the 11th Doctor figure with the 10th Doctor TARDIS. However, this is the 11th Doctor from uh, the 11th Hour, and the TARDIS was still uh, in the design of David Tennant's TARDIS. So, okay, I'll give him that. That's okay. I don't mind that. We've done that little bundle, but yeah, anyway. We've got some Slovene figures there. Again, gone crazy cheap. I mean, 
you know, again, really you'd want to bundle them up. You'd want to do a bundle of a few of them uh, to get that sort of standard bread and butter range of maybe 12 quid, something like that. But yeah, we've got some classic figures. I've not really delved into classic figures much, so I don't know much about pricing on them. But um, yeah, I think they've still. I think I think really that one's gone a little bit cheap. You could probably get a little bit more than that, but I wouldn't say much more. That's very cool. Classic Doctor Who five inch action figure Dalek, Supreme Dalek from Planet of the Daleks. That's really cool. Um, I've not seen Planet of the Daleks in a while. I like uh, Day of the Daleks. Is I think Day of the Daleks is really underrated as well. Day of the Daleks with uh, John Pertwee's Doctor is really underrated. And I think that Planet of the Daleks was John, uh, John Pertwee's Doctor as well. But as I say, I've not watched that in a while. So anyway, let's go down the rabbit hole now. And let's choose one of these little related searches up here. Um, let's go with the one that first caught my uh, eye, which is just Doc 2 Sonic Screwdriver. I'm going to go down to Sold Listings, of course. Uh, we're going to tick sold listings, and I'm going to put it on highest first because you'd probably be surprised um, at the value of some of these Sonic screwdrivers. As you can see, um, a lot of these Sonic screwdrivers that are in this kind of higher end range are um, rubber toe replicas. What's the other one? Um, oh, there's another. There's another person who does them. No, I forgot. I mean, there's a one company who do them, but they're they're like mid-range. Um, but with rubber toe replicas, and there's someone else, there's some, some other does that. Maybe I'll, maybe they'll come up here. I don't know. There's the one company ones. How the hell have they got 239? That's incredible. I didn't think they'd be going for 239. They they retailed at a lot a lot less than that. So obviously they've gone up in value uh, after they've been decommissioned or something. Uh, yeah, Tenth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote Control. So what the, those are is it's actually a Universal Remote Control. So you can turn your TV off and on, and I think you can change channels and things like that on your TV with the Sonic Screwdriver. Very very cool item. I was thinking of actually getting one, um, and it looks like they've gone up in value considerably actually now, because I swear they didn't retail at that. Um, but yeah, you can see there, you know, 186 on bids, 22nd of April, um, and it comes with this really nice little, uh, I think it's uh, mag magnetic, that's the word I'm looking for, magnetic stand, uh, you can see there, which is obviously uh, got some Gallifreyan symbols on, which is really, really cool. Uh, the box isn't particularly great, as you can see, you know, it's nothing special, um, but the, the stand is really nice, I really like the look of it. And it's really, really well detailed. It's absolutely superb item. Um, but yeah, you can see they command a lot of money. Um, we've got a um, Fourth Doctor Sonic uh, Screwdriver. Obviously, that's going to be popular because Fourth Doctor is most people's favourite Doctor. Um, Spring-loaded. Now, what you'll find is a lot of people, or well, not a lot of people, but a fair few people actually hand-make Sonic Screwdrivers and they will do them with aluminium or they'll do them with metal and a lot of fans including myself uh, will really want to get their hands on that because the actual classic era sonic screwdrivers the um sort of they most of the ones that have been produced by bigger companies have just been plastic and of not very good quality so a lot of these handmade ones i don't know whether this one is a handmade one or not um, but it certainly is a replica. Um, it, a lot of those are more attractive to fans. I mean, even if you don't make sounds or light up or anything, um, obviously the uh, fourth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver didn't light up, but you know, even if there isn't any sounds or anything, they're still attractive to fans because of the weight of them, of the feel of them, of the quality, and the fact that it really does feel like they are holding that Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. So, yeah, but let's go um, out of highest first and let's go to some more maybe uh bread and butter ones let's go ending recent ended recently so let's go down a bit so this is kind of like you just kind of bread and butter sonic screwdrivers this is brand new in the, in the box obviously if you see these sonic screwdrivers at the car boot for a couple of quid again you know it's a perfect example you know brand new in the box here it's gone for 20 quid 22 quid there including shipping so if you see something like this, brand new in the box at a car boot for a couple of quid, two, even maybe two or three quid, you know, it's definitely worth picking up. I mean, used. Oh, this is a, uh, 
Oh no, this isn't a sonic screwdriver. I thought this is actually a Wii remote. That's pretty cool. So I did know they did Wii remotes, but that's pretty cool. I was wondering what those buttons were on it, but yeah, that's a 11 Doctor Sonic Screwdriver Wii Remote, and that's brand new in the box for 18 quid plus post. So, yeah, if you, if you see them, definitely uh, worth picking up for a couple of quid. There are some, uh, as you can see here, Doctor Who, fourth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. These are the plastic ones I was talking about. If I can uh, click into this, see original listing. It's really annoying that you have to keep clicking to see original listing, but anyway. Um, yeah, so these are the plastic ones I'm talking about. They're not that great, you know, uh, fans do buy them because they've not got much of, of, an, of, uh, much of an alternative except paying 170 quid for a really well made one, um, but, you know, from maybe another fan um, of the show, but yeah, I don't particularly like these, I wouldn't buy these, I'd rather buy a £170 aluminium one than one of these, and I will be doing it at some point, but um yeah, and this this makes sounds, but as a fan myself, as a hardcore fan, I wouldn't want this one. I'd rather pay the 170 for one that doesn't make any sounds, but that's metal, because I, I want that quality, you know. I, I feel like I'd connect with the, the Doctor more if I have that metal one. Um, but you can see here, you know, brand new in the box. I've not gone for much of these, but again, you see them brand new in the box for a couple of quid. May as well pick them up, you know, from the car boot, so... Anyway, I'll leave it there. I, there's all sorts of different Sonic screwdrivers. You've got another one here, Light and Sounds Prop. That looks like it's pre-owned. It's the 10th Doctor's Sonic screwdriver there. 15 quid pre-owned, so that's pretty cool. Now, you've got to be wary that there's, variant, there's different variants of these screwdrivers. Some of them are going to be still in production, and they retail at very cheap. They retail at about 10 to 15 pounds, so... You've got to be careful. However, the ones that aren't in production anymore, you might be able to get a little bit more for them, even pre-owned. So it's always worth doing a bit more research. But certainly, you can't go wrong at a pound for a Sonic screwdriver if you see it on a stall, whether it's pre-owned or whether it's, um, you know, whether it's brand new. You know, if it's brand new, you can stomach paying a little bit more than that. But yeah, and certainly if it's a wand company Sonic screwdriver, like we looked at before, if they've got it out at a car boot and they're asking 10 or 20 pounds for it it might be worth you just doing a bit more research on your phone there and then because more than likely it's probably going to be worth picking up at 10 or 20 quid to flip into maybe even 100 quid or so so that's pretty awesome um so we'll go down the rabbit hole again here uh, you can see it's mainly uh sonic screwdrivers so i'll choose the one that isn't related to sonic screwdrivers so just do oh i've gone i've already done dot two figures haven't i um, let me put Doctor Who TARDIS in and we can actually see the uh, Doctor Who TARDISes. So, just go down to sold. So you can see here, brand new, That's I swear that's gone for slightly less than it should have done really. But I don't know, maybe that's the price that they can achieve for it. But it seems a bit cheap for me, even though that is just a money box. Brand new in the box like that, new old stock, I would have thought it'd be a bit more than that, maybe more like 15 quid, but anyway. Um, so we've got some figures there, Tardis, uh, Davros, got some sort of classic Dalek. I'll click into it so you can see it better. K9, 7th Doctor, 4th uh, Doctor is that? Is it the 4th Doctor in there? Oh yeah, 4th Doctor in there. Oh, that's pretty cool figures actually. They look, well, they're classic figures, actually. They're pretty cool. They are pretty cool. They should have gone for a little bit more than that, actually. A bit more than eight quid. Some of this stuff seems to be going quite low, although we're saying that it is on auction. So, yeah, with auction, you know, things do go for quite low. Let's type in, let me just cheat a little bit and type in Doctor Who 10th Doctor Tardis. See, here we go. So here's the 10th Doctor TARDIS. If I go to buy it now, we'll, we'll find by buy it now because that's a bit easier. So as you can see here, like I was saying, um, you can actually get some good money for these TARDISes alone. This is a 10th uh, Doctor and they're called flight control TARDISes. 10th uh, Doctor lights and sounds, FX, um, police box. And you can tell that it's the 10th Doctor era because it doesn't have the St. John's Al Ambulance sign or the little St. John's Ambulance badge on it that the... Uh, 11 Doctor TARDIS doors, I'll just open this one up in another tab. This is what I'm meaning by the um, 
badge. You probably won't be able to see it there, but it's a, a little tiny round badge uh, below the window, obviously there, near the door handle. And that's the badge that I'm meaning, which is the uh, St. John's Ambulance's badge. They put that back onto the TARDIS because it's uh, basically from the classic era. The classic era, I believe, had that on it. I think it was the 80s. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it was the 60s. I don't know. Anyway, some point in the classic era of Dot 2, they had that badge on the TARDIS, so they put it back on for a time. I believe that it's now gone, though, off the TARDIS. Um, I don't know whether it was gone with Peter Capaldi or whether they've just changed it recently with, with Jodie Whittaker, but I think it is now gone. However, with the new TARDIS, they've gone for a lot um, more classic look anyway without having the St. John's Ambulance on there. But as you can see, it's got that kind of faded um, plaque on there that says public call box or uh, free... Uh, free public call box pull to open and that's just you know the 10th doctor's 10th doctor era tardis or 9th and 10th doctor era tardis uh, and as you can see 23 quid plus your post so you know you pick these up for even three or four quid at the car boot and you, you know i mean you've got to make sure they're working you can you can just there's a little button on the bo bottom so hopefully there's batteries in it or whatever at the car boot and you can uh, test if it's working if not, then maybe you're best off just paying a quid or two. But if you can test that it's working there and then, and it is working, and you know it's a flight control one, then it might be worth just paying up a little bit, you know, three or four quid. Um, there, you know, another one, character options, this one. Uh, again, 9th, 10th Doctor Era, 20 quid. Uh, we've got some sort of playset there, which is the interior of the TARDIS. Again, light and sound. I don't know what this is made by. Again, maybe character options or something. Not sure. Not sure, really. No, it just says play set. Don't know. Maybe it says somewhere on the listing, but I can't see it at the moment. But a little play set there for twenty four ninety nine plus post. So, again, car boot sales, charity shops, you know. It's worth looking out for these kind of things. Again, this is a light-up tie, so I've had this one before. Uh, Doctor Who, 10th Doctor, Tardis console, light up. Now that isn't 10th Doctor, that's, Ill is that, oh no, that is 10th Doctor, yeah it is. I just couldn't, couldn't see properly on the photo then. I was thinking that m looked more like 11th Doctor, but no, it's 10th Doctor here, yeah. Um, I thought it was 11th Doctor, because, oh, I don't know why I thought it was 11th Doctor, to be honest. Um, but yeah, 10th Doctor 1, 1099, not a lot, to be honest, for that, so you don't even want to be paying a quid for that. Um, 50p or a quid or whatever at car boot. But as you can see, um, we've got these um, Titans vinyl figures as well. Some of these rare Titan vinyls figures do well. Um, they are basically just, well, they're vinyl figures. They're, they're kind of like smaller version of pop vinyl, but I think they are a different company. And um, some of these rarer ones do okay. You can maybe get upwards of about 25 quid for a rarer figure. But as you can see, this one here... Titans vinyl went for Cyber Leader went for uh, 12 quid there. You can see brand new in the box. Uh, so this is basically just the flight control TARDIS you saw first off a minute ago that went for 22.99. But this is brand new in the box, and you can see what I was talking about about some of these brand new in the box new old stock figures going for you know 50 quid that sort of range. So you know again this sort of stuff brand new in the box. It's starting to become more collectible. It's starting to have a little bit of age to it, um, which is sad for me to say because it makes me feel old when I say that. But it has got, you know, 10 years on it now. And, uh, you know, it's starting to become more collectible, especially these slightly bigger uh, boxed items that, you know, have got more substance to the sets. And uh, as you can see there, going for 60 quid. So brand new in box at the car boot. I mean, Someone might have a collection of this. Someone might come to the car boot. You see in the corner of your eye that sort of orangey packaging. And they've got a collection of this. And they're willing to sell it for 100 quid or whatever. And you've got tons of sets in there. So, you know, it's definitely worth uh, looking out for this stuff as well. Especially brand new in the box with these bigger sets. Um, but yeah, even used stuff. You know, big used bundles of figures go for, go for good money. That is actually my listing. I think that's my listing there, that Doctor Who title vinyl figure, uh, 10th Doctor set, where this is the claw arm variant of the Dalek, and you can see there I got 19.99 free post for that. So as I was saying, you know, you can get that sort of 20, 25 quid for some of these rarer figures, 
Um, and yeah, pretty pretty cool with that one there. So I'm quite happy with that sale, um, 5th of April. Yeah, it probably was my sale because that was about the time. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like me to do some more of these videos, then please feel free. I know there was a little bit of rambling in this video, but it's because it's Doctor Who. I wanted to do a bit of a, a, a video that I'd really enjoy doing with, uh, with regards to Doctor Who and a bit of research on it. Um, if you you want to actually decide the topic of this video, um, of this random research, then please feel free to put a comment down below and uh, choose what you would like me to start with. And then, as I say, we can go up to the top after we've looked at the one you would like to talk talk about. You you would like me to talk about. We could go up to the top and then we do the uh, whole rabbit hole thing and look at the related uh, searches as well. So if there's anything you know, you'd like me to talk about on these videos, just whack a comment down below. What would you like me to start with? It can be anything. It can be military clothing. It can be printers. It can be computers. It can be speakers. It can be clothing. You know, whatever it is. I can't even think of that many items. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.